What is up YouTube? It's me, Celtic, and welcome back to Building Made Easy. Today we are talking about how to build Nemesis in Smite Season 5. But more on that in a second, time to dive into a new format. Now what kind of new format? Good question. Today I'm going to be basically first and foremost diving into the build and getting that out of the way nice and fast. Then I'm going to be doing a bunch of tips and tricks for Nemesis. So stuff that you should do early, middle, and late game, a whole bunch of random crap like that. This is the new format that I'm going to try out. If you guys like it, let me know in the I card or in the comment section down below if you prefer this new format or the old format I was doing before. Anyways, let's dive into the build nice and fast. So to start the game, you get Assassin's Blessing in the tier 1 of Jotun's Wrath. Then you are going to rush Boots. Boots is your first item, you want Boots. Warrior Tabby, not Ninja Tabby. Then after you finish off your Boots, you want to get Jotun's Wrath. You do not want to get Crusher because, well, the nerfs don't make it a good first item anymore. Then after you finish that, you're going to build into Heartseeker. Heartseeker is Nemesis' best item, but you don't want to build it too early because you won't have any other power. Anyways, after Heartseeker, you are then going to build Crusher because you have enough power and gold to make that item relevant. Then after that, you are going to build the final mace, which is Brawler's Beatstick. Then for your final item, you have a lot of choices to make, my favorite choice being Masamune, but if the enemy team is especially tanky, you could substitute Masamune for Titan's Bane. That is the bulk of the build, now let's dive into tips and tricks. Now, if you couldn't tell by the build path that I chose, I think that Nemesis is best served to be an ability-based character. I know some people like to build her crit, but in my opinion, crit sucks. With how pre prevalent the power items are in Season 5, Nemesis gets way more out of it if she builds into full power. Plus, you're gonna build Heartseeker, and as I was saying earlier, Heartseeker is Nemesis' best item. It's a really good assassin item in general, but not all assassins have a lock on, take 30% of a person's health, and then Heartseeker passive bullshit move. Nemesis' alt procs Heartseeker. Remember that. So when you're engaging and you have a fully stacked Heartseeker passive, you are going to not only take that chunk of their health that the ultimate already does, but then you're going to also apply the Heartseeker afterwards. Okay, it's very key. As for some other general stuff, remember that Nemesis's second ability is a cone, but the little cone inside that cone does twice the amount of damage if you can actually land it. It's not hard to do and the damage payout is immense, so you want to make sure you're actually landing in the little circle, or the little cone rather, than the big one. Okay? Keep that in mind. Now, in general, you are this curve works really well. The 20% CDR early on makes it so that you can poke early and you can poke often, which is very important. As for leveling the abilities, you are maxing out Slice and Dice first, so that's second ability. Then it's really up to you. I personally, 9 times out of 10, will upgrade the shield before the dash. In the gameplay you're seeing on screen, I upgraded the dash before the shield. All the shield does is it basically, it absorbs and heals Nemesis a total amount of damage done in about 2 seconds. So if you're really good at timing, bursts of damage for blocking, then you are going to go from like 50% back up to full if you are maximizing the shield. Otherwise, the dash is probably your better option because it does do a fair bit of damage, so it's really up to you. The last two things I want to quickly touch on are relic choices as well as the ultimate I'm going to re-specify. So the actives that I like going on Nemesis are beads to get out of crowd control and blink to quickly engage. Blink is blessed. Get Blink. It lets you engage. It's just the... Oh, it's such a fucking good item. Okay, get Blink. Anyway, as for the ultimate itself, remember that Nemesis is a tank killer. So if you use your ultimate on a tank, you are shredding their protections and getting them for yourself. So in situations like team fights, you are always ulting the tank because that gets rid of their protections and it makes you tankier. And that's very important. Anyways, that's all the time that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's time to play the outro. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more stuff from me in the future, hit my face in the bottom left to make sure you subscribe and keep up to date with me. If you want to watch more stuff from me right now, I have quite a bit to choose from, but I'm going to put two videos on the screen right now for you to choose from. Anyway guys, this is Celtic, signing off. Have yourselves a casual day.